Hi guys, this is the first part of a tutorial series I'm presenting you for SimFeedback. So, what is SimFeedback? SimFeedback is a DIY open project which allows you to build your own DIY motion simulator for racing or flight simulator games. You can find all the information on the GitHub page. Here we will find a link to the wiki and to forums to get in contact with other, people, other people's. So first start here in the wiki, scroll down and you will find a link. It's called Let's Get Started. Let's Get Started will you show a way to make your way through the project uh, from the shopping list, uh, all the parts you need to get, uh, from the STL files for the printing parts and a link to the page that shows you how to install the SimFeedback software. This page will basically you inform how to install the software and how to get the software from the GitHub pages. So we go to releases. In the releases section uh, you will find this first release. It's called 0008.04. So just click on this EXO file and download it. Uh, next, open it. It's just a packed zip file um, with content. And next, open another Windows Explorer. Um, just choose a folder where you like to install the SimFeedback software. Create a new folder and copy the content of the zip file into this new folder. So. After this, close the other window and these files you had downloaded from the internet. So it means they are protected by Windows. Uh, you can unblock each file by itself, but I made a little batch file that makes this process much more convenient. So just execute it under the admin privilege and let it run. So you need to confirm a little dialog and this will unblock all your files at once. So it's just for convenience. Um, now you see a black screen. This is my protection from Windows. I just commit it, say OK, and then you are ready to go. Start some feedback by double clicking the Synth Feedback Start Exe. This will bring up the program and first you will see a little pop-up that informs you that you need to set a COM port. Uh, this COM port is for the Arduino. Your Arduino is the controller for the server motor, so it will forward you to the setup tab and there is a controller um, drop down. Just select the COM port for your Arduino. My COM port is here COM port 1 and uh, here on this page you can select a sound card for the tactile effects. I do have a small USB sound card for this purpose. So select here your sound card and this is all for the first setup. This is it for the first tutorial. Thank you for watching and have fun and enjoy. Thank you.